Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Coming on a lot later today, but that happens sometimes, right? So if you're hopping on, say hello. I just want to share some quick tips with you. It is Monday, very busy day. I had to spend my morning driving through New York traffic, which was not very peaceful, I just want to say. And I had a lot going on, so I just wanted to come on a little bit later. So let me know how you're doing. And I hope that you're ready to boost your energy with this great tip, and you can do it anywhere. And if you've been following me, you know that it is something that I talk about all the time here. All right, so it is about dealing with stress and incorporating this into your daily routine and maybe starting your day out with it. All right, so if it's your first time here, my name is Tony Gonzalez, and I am the host of Wellness For You. I talk about identifying your stress style, finding ways daily to relieve it, and figuring out what it is that's causing it, right? Um, and once you figure out what's causing it, you can, or figuring out what your, what your style is, or your stress style is, you can incorporate all these activities into your daily practice and not wait for a perfect day, perfect vacation, for retirement, doing it daily to relieve the stress. All right. So I've been talking about stress and energy the last, well, yesterday and today, and how stress can impact that energy and also make you not want to do anything, right? So stress is a natural and it's natural and we all experience it. Events that range from daily re responsibilities like family and work, work for us first responders, to serious life-changing events like new jobs, new, new, you might be sick, there might be something going on in your family. And that may like throw you off just a little bit, all right? So what happens is if you get stressed out, you naturally don't want to do anything. And I want to tell you to, to reverse that and actually get moving. Because if you get moving, it's going to boost your energy and it's going to do all kinds of great things to your body, including your blood pressure, your heart, and all these things. All right, so too much stress can impact general habits and behaviors. We know this. It can, lead, it can lead to making poor choices. So by poor choices, I mean, so we're not moving, right? And we're not doing anything. We're just like, blah. That means we're not exercising. We might be smoking, you know? And I used to be a smoker. And I want to tell you, just, I want to stop right there and figure, just tell you this. When I stopped smoking, I figured that it was it was a very hard thing to do, but that breathing that you do with the cigarette is, I figured for myself was making me feel better, but it was also hurting me. So there, if you are a smoker, just know that these breathing techniques could possibly help you and help you quit smoking. It is not easy, but it's something that is beneficial to you to stop smoking, and we all wanna live a long life, right? All right, so, and also what happens is we overeat, we go to the sugars, and we do all kinds of things. And I will touch on that sometime this week, uh, actually this month, and I'm gonna maybe have a guest speaker come on who knows about nutrition and all the things that you can do to stop this, this stress cycle that's going on. All right, so the tip that I'm gonna talk to you about quickly, I'm not gonna take a lot of your time today, all right? It's about diaphragmatic breathing, and the other tip is getting a good night's sleep. So this breathing technique, I talk about breathing all the time. It's really important to learn how to breathe properly and to use it to your advantage to relieve your stress, okay? So this technique that I'm talking about first is the diaphragmatic breathing. So in traditional Chinese medicine, all right, they call this the qi. It's one of the most important ways we make. It's by breathing deeply. To relieve our stress, we breathe deeply. So stress, poor posture, a snug waistline, and habit are some of the reasons why your breath doesn't make it down to the bottom of your lungs. So you want to make sure you breathe deeply. So this breathing is also called belly breathing. I talk about it here all the time. It's a simple practice used in alternative medicine to increase your energy and improve your stamina. So if you're not doing anything dangerous and you're not, if you're not doing anything right now, just stop and do this exercise with me 
and I promise me, promise you that it's always going to help you out. All right. So we aren't usually aware of our breath and you've heard this before, but proper oxygenation is essential to our mental and physical well-being. Not now that you're thinking about your respiration, this is what I would like for you to do. Take in a long, deep, expansive breath, hold it for a moment and exhale. Do it again. Take in a long, deep, expansive breath, hold it for a moment and exhale. Breathe deeply again, starting from your belly button and expanding your to your stomach, expanding your stomach and torso all the way up through your chest as fully as you can and exhale. So breathe deeply again, starting from your belly button and expanding your stomach and torso all the way up through your chest as fully as you can and exhale. Remember, anytime you feel stressed, anytime you don't know what to do, anytime you wanna, you don't, you wanna remember who you are, take a deep breath. And it's important to identify cues, identify how you're breathing, because when we get stressed out, we're taking shallow breaths. And a lot of us have to you know, wear masks, and this type of breathing can help you so much, not only with that mask, but to also relax your entire body. So this is another way to boost your energy. I hope that this was helpful to you. I wanna remind you to add yourself to the top of the list. Do that every single day. Do something every single day for yourself, even if it's just one minute. And I wanna remind you, more importantly, to stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.